discovered the most ridiculous dealer scam and I'm exposing it in this video. Since 2011, I've been teaching you guys all of the best car buying tips and tricks out there, not to mention the scams to look out for. When my editor sent me this picture that he saw from Twitter, I was absolutely disgusted. And this video is going to show you this scam that this dealer is trying to pull, the ridiculousness of this scam, and also some scams that dealers like to pull on other dealers. This whole freaking industry is full of scams, and I hate it. This is a Cadillac converter. These have a lot of precious metals inside, which is a rampant theft crime all across the country. We see it all the time. $2 million, $1 million worth of catalytic converters out there stolen. Well, dealers now are preying on the weak and the vulnerable um, to get you to spend money on something like that to protect it. Now listen, dealers don't care anything about you after you leave the business. They care about one thing, selling a new car and making money. And those two are go hand in hand. My editor, found this picture, and you guys know what this is, it's the infamous ripoff sticker of a Ford dealership doing all sorts of goofy things that we'll put on here, out there. Number one, a five year, 75,000 mile car dock maintenance with brakes for $1,800, $1,700. That's a ripoff. Nowhere near when you start looking at what they provide you is gonna be $1,700 in value to you. It's only for profit for them. Car shield package, which is total BS, wheel locks, BS, I can take any wheel lock, any wheel lock on the market, I can take it off in 13 seconds. And I've proved this over on the YouTube Shorts channel and also on my TikTok. Uh, Elo GPS for $1,499, absolute BS. With all the telematics that we have out there, you uh, definitely don't need to purchase a separate GPS at the dealership. Now, I do actually have multiple GPS units on some of my cars for theft prevention because they're high value cars and I have a lot of money into them and I want to keep track of them, but uh, you can buy one for like 50 bucks, less than 50 bucks, I'll put it on the screen here, and then have a $150 yearly subscription if you so choose, and nowhere near the $1,500 one. But the most disgusting one, the most astonishing one, is the Cadillac Converter Etch, theft deterrent, for $4.99. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do you think for one second that a thief is gonna get under your car and see, oh, there's, there's, there's etching on here. I'm not gonna take this because I don't wanna get caught with stolen property because the other 30 catalytic converters I have in my trunk of my car or in the bed of my truck isn't a dead giveaway that I'm stealing these and they all have Sawzall blades on them. I've seen some crazy things in the past where people have done straps, plates, rebar bars, other things like that, painting them. But this one is absolutely the most craziest one out there. And so I went out to Amazon and I saw that you can actually buy this exact product that they're selling. The one that they're selling for $499, look at what's on the screen. Do you see how much that is? That is insane. So if you want to protect your catalytic converters and you want to put some sort of etching on them, you can certainly do it for a lot less than what the dealer does. But ultimately it doesn't matter because a thief is a thief. You know, we have door locks on our on our buildings, on our houses. It's only to keep honest people honest. Theft deterrents do not work on cars or on anything else. This is an absolute scam that's disgusting. And you didn't catch this because I haven't shown it yet, but check this image out right here. Do you see what the ripoff sticker is next to? Yes, a brand new Ford Lightning that doesn't even have catalytic converters on them. Yes, they are trying to upcharge you for that amount of money on an electric vehicle. Absolutely insane. And sadly, it doesn't matter where we're at in the world and what industry we are in the world, there's scams everywhere. And the one scam that I've realized over the last couple years is what actually happens at auctions. And today I'm watching a Atlanta, Georgia auction. And since COVID, this Georgia auction uh, really doesn't have anyone actually going to the sale and bid, and they're all doing it online. So you can see that there's nobody here. And when someone bids, 
bids online, which this auction is online, you can see that they say online bid and it tells you the dealer here, right? And you can see that one was sold, sale pending. And now they're saying they're asking, they're asking, asking, right? There's a bid, there's a bid. Who are these bids? Who is these just simple bids with no dealership's name? This person here bid and then this person bid up 200 extra dollars. So they had to bid and now, oh, hey, they're 15 asking 15 ones. I already know what's gonna happen here. They're gonna retract this bid. Block retracted previous bid, see? They had a bid at 15 grand. Why is this person now all of a sudden 14.8? See, now this bid here, 14.9. This is a scam. This is a scam on the auctions right now. And this is absolutely disgusting that this is actually happening like this. Let's watch it. I bet it gets retracted. They're trying to get this guy to bid up and they've already got him to bid up, right? No sale, 14.8, 14.9 bid, no sale, right? So now why would we not want to sell this car at 14.9. You're gonna look at this and you're gonna see that the MMR is $15,100. That means that this dealer did not sell this car because it was under like 300 bucks, maybe 400 bucks for uh, the Mannheim market report. I've got a vehicle coming up here uh, and two more vehicles that I'm gonna be bidding on. And I'm telling you, these auctions are scamming dealers just as much. And with us getting scammed like this, this affects you greatly. Now I know you're like, oh, it's just a dealer, it's just a dealer. No, if we have to pay more for it, that means you have to pay more for it because the market reports show that, hey, this vehicle is being sold for this amount of dollars. And if they've got every single one of their cars, look. Bid, 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 bid. And then this one here. There's nobody in this auction lane. There's nobody in this lane. So there's a guy there. But, oh, that's, this is my car now. This is my car that I'm gonna bid on. Let's see what happens. We can bid max 28.4, 28.7 is MMR. So asking, asking, okay, so now we've got some people bidding. Yep, so look, bid 28.2, go back here. There's nobody in here bidding. There's nobody in here bidding, zero. And it's above, above where we're at. We wanna be at 28.4 on this um, because of that. But these are all online bids. They're good bids. So bid 30 grand. Look, 28.7 is MMR. They're at 30,400 now. They're battling out, they can have it. So the reason why we don't want it is because 33,990 is the max sale price. So 30,300 is where it's at currently now. And they sold it for 30,200. So after all of our sales and fees and transportation, and then we're gonna have recon and stuff like that, it just doesn't make it advantageous, which is why in 2024, we're working on more not buying from auction and buying from private individuals and then working on trade-ins as well. But as I was saying, there's nobody in those those lanes bidding and every single one of those bids is basically saying when it says no name after it that someone's raised in their hand yep 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 right we've all been to an auction we know how it works but when there's nobody in lane and the auctions are sitting hey there's somebody in lane bidding because that's the only way that those work that's a scam and i want to make sure that i articulate this in the proper manner because basically looking at a buying a vehicle for 30,200 and selling it for 339 it looks like there's a big profit of over three thousand dollars in there and that's not really the case so this truck did have some reconditioning that we're going to have to do and we budgeted for fifteen hundred dollars in reconditioning now hopefully it won't take fifteen hundred bucks but we have to budget that correctly in order to ensure uh, we don't go negative or in the red when we're selling vehicles we want to be in the black and then also we can have transportation auction fees or they're charging us basically 900 bucks on auction fees that's another bullshit thing we appraised it again at 28 four two thousand dollars profit at 100 percent of the market that means 33 390 and right here tells us that uh of the 16 vehicles that are currently on the market as of this second it's going to take 72 days for those 16 vehicles to sell now we're very lucky we know how to market cars very well we sell things in very quick fashion our average unit only sets here 12 days but we have some units that have set here 100 days that's the risk that we have to take and to furthermore educate you on this issue our vehicle that we were bidding on that we did not win had 89,000 miles the average odometer of the 16 out there is 91.4 so that means we were going to have to market this car for about a thousand dollars over what the average market is with just a couple thousand miles. So when we get in here and we start looking, number one, this dealer had the car and they had it marketed for 33.8, 
for 34 days and haven't sold it. Uh, but we look at this one right here, uh, 37,000, 34,000, 35,000. So we can kind of look at these cars and you can see that that market comes down for average price because of these higher mileage cars. But what we have to look at is this one right here, just an hour and a half north of us. They've only had it for 15 days, similar mileage, 89,639 versus 89,588. So exact same mileage and they have it priced for 30,877. So three grand cheaper than what we have it listed for if we would have won this. So that's kind of some insights on this, but ultimately these auctions are scamming dealers and it's gotta stop. There needs to be something out there. And I don't wanna say legislation because we don't need the government involved with us. We just need people to operate ethically and honestly and uh, have some morals in this business because that stuff is only gonna help everyone involved and most importantly, the consumer. To keep on this subject, found another uh, auction that's got a better view of the auction area and they're actually running vehicles through and this is what I wanna show you. Look, bid, 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 right? There's nobody in the lane. There's nobody in here bidding. Who is bidding on this car that they won't put their name on the screen? This is not in-person bids. Right now they're looking at that XT6 that just pulled off the line. You can see they're still bidding. You can see the MMR report. So they're right on MMR, a few hundred bucks over. It's not a big deal. Block retracted previous bid, don't know why. Online sale pending. So here is on this 21 Tahoe. Who's bidding? There's nobody here bidding. All bids. Ask, ask, ask. Okay, it's legit. Oh, we got a $40,000 bid. From who? Oh, retracted that $40,000. Oh, let's retract the bid and ask less. Now we have some real bids. Not a real bid. These guys are getting drinks down here. They're not bidding. That guy's not bidding. He's walking off. Who's bid? Oh, retracted it. We don't want that higher bid. We're going to retract that off. Bid, bid, bid. Who's bidding? This is absolutely insane. I don't know how to run a business when the people who you buy the products from is scamming you. Imagine that for a second.